don't know if I have the right to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because anyone that's a staff member in this district deserves to be treated with respect, love, and care. I don't care whether they say something that you don't like or something that you don't believe, but something that just doesn't sit well with you. That doesn't give anyone the right to try to address them in a way that makes them feel less than or anything of that nature. So I wanted to just be known from my perspective as someone that oversees the work of this district that that will not be tolerated. That's not something that we can live in, something that we can stand behind or anything that we will support. Just because you don't see eye to eye or if someone does not say something that you want them to say does not give you the right to address them in a way that's not respectful. I don't care who you are, I don't care what role you have, I don't care what you do in the community, it's about treating every one of us with respect. And if I'm wrong for saying this tonight, well then maybe this isn't the place for me. Because I strongly believe that we have to stand up and stand behind those that have put, and actually those who have put blood, sweat, and tears on the table to make sure that your kids are safe to make sure that everything that our kids are learning is being learned to the best of their ability and also to the best of the ability that our teachers have to teach them. And it's unfortunate that tonight that we had someone stand up and I'm gonna use the word harass or treat someone who was bringing us information that can only keep our kids safe in our school environments. It's really unfortunate. And, and lastly, I just wanted to be known that we have to set an example. There are students sitting in here. There are probably students watching this board meeting tonight. There's parents watching this board meeting tonight. We have to set an example regardless of what's being said and how it's being said to remain civil. If we don't remain civil, how do you expect for our kids to learn in an environment that we want to teach them civility? 